1933, education is being transformed through digital learning. The moment students set foot in the classroom, they head to their computers, eager to start the day with an opening assignment. Today, it's math using Padlet to share their ideas and understandings with each other on the same canvas. Writing about math helps solidify knowledge, and Miss Grogan uses the added entries as an opportunity to get her students to think more deeply about the topic at hand. You told me a lot about how they can be equivalent. You told me that they're, they're um, both parts of a whole. There are a lot of comparison. Now let's contrast them. How is a decimal different than a fraction? After a thorough discussion about fractions, math continues with a session of Kahoot to check for understanding. <laughs> Students race the clock to figure out the right answers. However, this is much more than an ordinary quiz. Let's talk about that for a second. We had some people say that four fifths. What is the what is the pattern that's going up there? What are those, what are those portions? Ms. Grogan stops in between questions to discuss select problems. The instantaneous data that's provided by Kahoot allows her to concentrate on misconceptions rather than readdressing material the students have already mastered. Using this as an assessment is very powerful because they're being assessed and not even noticing. Unlike the silence of a normal quiz setting, here, discussion between students is actually encouraged. In addition, students frequently act as the teacher. After all, cooperation and collaboration propel all students towards success. In addition, this builds confidence as students take ownership of their learning. When you're, when you're assessing this way, you get a rich dialogue, but you don't get if they just guess. And you really need to tell us when you learn they have good test taking strategies versus when they have solid math understanding. Next, students work together to create their own lesson in Seesaw to teach other students how to reduce a fraction. Seesaw is a digital portfolio platform that feels more like social networking than school to the students. This is a good way of showing people because you get to, you get to post your activities that you do on the class journal. And anything you post will show up there. Other people can comment and you could also add videos and other stuff to the class notebook. After lunch, students settle into language arts by reading online books about rocks. The fact that geology happens to be their current science unit is no accident. We have to um, write a main idea through supporting details on a specific chapter in a specific book about, about the landforms and how they change because of what the Earth's environment is like. And we can use technology to help us with that because we can look through the book very easily in a little amount of time. Putting the responsibility for learning squarely in the hands of the students allows Ms. Grogan time to guide their learning while keeping all students fully engaged. One by one, the groups present their portion of today's reading assignment. Ms. Grogan's class consists of English language learners, gifted, special needs, and general ed students. It takes real magic to educate such an academically, socially, and culturally diverse group of students. 
Yet Miss Grogan manages to do just that, using yet another tool in her bag of tricks. This time, Quizlet Live. Randomly grouped by Quizlet Live, students work together to determine which person in their group has the correct answer to the question posed. The key to success is discussion, cooperation, and trust. If one student fails, the whole group fails. The next day, students use Wixie to create a poem. We have to have five lines, it's a five W poem, and what we have to do is we have our five description words, who, what, when, where, and why, and then we have to put the, we have to put a, a, a onomatopoeia, alliteration, simile, metaphor, and rhyme in each of those paragraphs. You can have two in one stanza, in one line. She's as quiet as a mountain and never gets As they create, Students use online resources such as Word Hippo and Word Nick to find rhyming words, synonyms, and other useful tools. The end result is a unique product comprised of text, images, a background, and even a recording of the student reading their poem. The children in this room are basically on the computer 80% of their day. They um, do, do hands-on things. We use a lot of math manipulatives. We read books, but we also find a way to do it in a technological way about 80% of the time. Paraphrasing the words of Carl Fish, 21st century education won't be defined by any new technology. It will, however, be defined by a fundamental shift in what and how we are teaching. A shift towards learner-centered education and creating creative thinkers. Miss Grogan is doing just that in room 133.